all right folks so in this video what I wanted to cover is how you can generate structured output from agents so we will use the lang graph and we will see how you can build the agent using lang graph and then also how you can generate structured outputs from the lang graph agents right so let's go through this notebook which will give you the idea how you can generate structured outputs so first of all we will do the required installations uh, then what we will do is we will initialize the key for OpenAI API key and also the Tabulae API key. So the Tabulae API key will be used uh, for the Tabulae tool which will enable us to do the web search and then get the required content or the context for the particular question and using that context or the uh, the particular web search result we can generate the answer right so then what we are doing here is we are initializing the LLM so we are using the GPT-40 mini model which is the recent model from OpenAI and then what we are doing here is we are initializing the tabulae tool and uh, then what we will do is we will start building the agents but uh, before doing that at first what we will do is we will create a pydentic object or a pydentic class so which will uh, ensure that the structured output is generated right agent will accept a user prompt so the user prompt will be like user will give us a city name and based on that city name it will try to fetch the city details right so at first it will fetch the state name for that particular city then it will uh, fetch the state capital for that city then it will also fetch the country name for that particular city and it will also in the end it will fetch the country capital of that city right so then what we will do is we will create an agent state so uh, it will it it will enable us to like append the uh, node outputs which is in form of a list of chat messages and then we are also creating a particular variable which will be the final response so this final response type will be a pydentic object class which is the city details which we created here right so then what we will do is we will uh, create a python uh, function so that python function is get city details so this get city details will leverage the tabulate tool and then it will like uh, whatever the prompt that has been passed so that will be used uh, for the web search to bring the required context or the required results from the web which can be used as a response to the particular question right so then we will use this decorator which will convert this python function to uh, tools so then we will create a tools variable where we will pass the each of this tool so we have only one tool so that we will pass and we will create a list out of it then what we will do is so this is where uh, the crux of this video lies so we will create two LLM models so one of the LLM models what we will do is we will bind the tools so this tools what we have initialized here so that we will bind here and now the LLM will know that I have a tool at my disposal so whenever a question requires a tool call then it will do a tool call to fetch the uh, correct context or correct details that are required to answer that question then what we will do is we will also uh, do this LLM dot with structured output so now what we will do is we will force the LLM to create the structured output based on this city details uh, class which we have created which is nothing but a pydentic object right so we are naming this as model with structured output so here we are forcing the LLM to generate the output what has been described in the city details class right which is again a pydentic object so then what we will do is we will uh, create this function so this function name is call model so it will accept the state as input so from the state it will uh, extract the message then it will uh, do this model with tools dot invoke call so here we we can see we are not using the model with structured output here we are using the model with tools so then it will uh, generate the response and that we will return from this function right so after that what we'll do is we will again create another function which is the respond so this 
function will be used to uh, generate the response which will be sent to the user now uh, here we can see like we have used this model with structured output so in this way we will uh, force the LLM to generate the output with the given structure that has been provided right here we will uh, like get the state last to last message so that will be actually the response from the model tool call and that we will capture using this minus two and using that content we will create a human message and then we will uh, pass that to the LLM to generate the structured output right so once that response is generated uh, that we will return as the final response right so then we have this should continue function so this we have used multiple times in our lang graph playlist series so where we will check if there is a tool call or not so if there is a tool call present in the last message then we will return the continue which will like loop back to the LLM call and check if any uh, further tool call is required or not if there is no tool call is present in the last message then we will pass the control to the respond node right so then what we are doing is we are initializing a new graph so we are naming it as workflow so we are initializing a state graph and we are also pa passing the agent state what we have created earlier then we are adding the nodes so one of them is this call model python function and we are naming that node as agent then we have the respond node and also we have the tool node right so we are using this langchain tool node function which will convert this to a node and we are naming this as tools right so then we will set the entry point as agent and then we will add a conditional age so it will check like whether there is a tool call present in the last message or not based on that it will either route the control to the tools or it will route the control to the respond function right which will extract the structured output from the uh, tool call response right we are like compiling this workflow and creating a graph out of it right so if we now do the visualization you can see like we have a start node then it goes through the agent agent decides whether it needs to make a tool call or not if it requires a tool call then the control will be passed to the tools and once tools complete the uh, execution then the agent will return the control to the respond so which will actually generate the output with a structured output right graph dot invoke and here i am mentioning a message which is like uh, tell me about the city details for kolkata right and then uh, what we get is we get back the answer and now we can see it has returned a structured output which is uh, more of a pydentic object and which has a json output where key value pairs are present so you can see like the state name is there then we have the state capital uh, then the country name and also the country capital right so we wanted the output in this format in this structured output format now we are able to generate this from the agentic workflow right now uh, you can like leverage this structured output and use it for the downstream task where you may need the output as a structured output or in a json format where we will have the key value response pairs right now if you just want to do a stream on this whole workflow and you want to check how the workflow is uh, executing then you can do this graph dot stream and you can pass the same question so you can see at first it's going to the agent node uh, then it's uh, returning a AI message which which is showing you that it requires a tool call uh, then it's also passing the argument so our argument is nothing but the name of the city which is where the prompt is equal to Kolkata and that is being state that should be sent as a argument to the next tool call so then it will go to the tabulae uh, search agent and it will do the tool uh, tool call and it will retrieve the content of the web search right so once the web search is retrieved then it will again go back to the agent so now the agent has done all the required steps so now it can go back to the respond node so the now the control will be passed to the respond node and then it will like extract the structured output using the pydentic object 
where we have used this city details class and it will return you the all the required details that was present in this city details class right so which we can also see here in in the previous execution like we have the state name the state capital the country name and also the country capital right so uh, in this way you can like leverage the lang graph and then you can generate a structured output while executing a lang graph workflow with the concept of agents right so with this i will end this video thank you see you in the next video